Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here at the Midwest Car Exchange, and you can see the guys behind me help run the shop along with dad and mom. So we're gonna grab the cameras I usually do, and I'm gonna let them stand together for a second and talk. So uh, let's start with, uh, both of you guys jump together and give us a quick pitch. Now, uh, who's your dad? Uh, Mark Lazinski, my, my mother's Donna. Uh, we've been here for about 24 years. We're in the South. Who are you? I'm, I'm, I'm Tim Lazinski, All my right. older brother, Eric. <laughs> and your older brother? Older brother, he's got older two years brother. on me. All right. All he's right. got two years on me. Older right. and wiser. Yeah. yeah, we'll go with that, we'll go with that, we'll go with that. Good, and now uh, you guys have been around cars your entire life. Yeah, sir, yeah, okay. since we were knee high. So, so this car here that we're gonna talk about today, I know this a little bit of the story behind it. Your dad is in St. Louis right now at a car show, but we're here playing around while he's down there working, but you guys are working too. What, uh, your dad's chased this car. Yeah. He has. He has for quite some time. I want to say almost uh, 15, 16 years he was on the hunt for it. He knew about the car. Being it was such a low production car, he really sought to have the car. And because the mileage is true, 7,400 miles, he really wanted it. The guy wouldn't release it to him. He, he did end up actually selling it, and it traded hands a few times, and then my dad finally acquired it. So it's uh, the car he was he was searching for forever. So let's let's come on back, Tommy, and let's take a look at what we are looking for. What do we have here today? Got Tim, it. go ahead. 67 Z28, uh, 602 were ever built. A lot of people never realized 67 offered the Z28. It was a very, very low run. Um, and this one's actually very, very unique because the gentleman purchased the car brand new. He pulled the entire drive line out of the car, put a big block in it, and he ran it as a quarter mile car. So five six years later when he got kind of sick of doing the quarter mile he got the original engine slapped it back in it and essentially that 7400 miles ran a quarter mile at a time so what's happened here is we had the big block we took that out we put the original stuff back in and there's really no the thing about the 67 is there's no z28 badging there's no right. like, here's right. a big z28 sticker and that's how you know how do you know when it's a z28 and it's a 67. well it's, it's the 302 and obviously you can go by the vin number and the trim code on the car I do have all the original documentation. I have the original build, uh, build sheet and the order form for it, along with the original uh, bill of sale from the dealership. So I got a nice little history along with it. And this car's color is? Uh, deep water blue. Deep water blue with some yeah. beautiful blue stripes. And as you can see, this car is unrestored. It's, it is aged. It's, it's just how it comes right and that's the thing it almost would hinder the value of the car exactly. and it would hinder the story of the car like you had said um that's kind of that's that's what you do you know you, you tell a story about a car and to repaint the car would almost it would, it would hurt the car exactly so i just want to give people the beautiful body lines from the first z28 and, and it is all, all original sheet metal as well too yeah. that's on the car it's never been cut up or molested they say in any way and, and the and the interesting thing about that is if you know anything about cars in 67 is they usually especially in you know this area didn't last until 1972 they Correct. were gone Correct. because the sheet metal wasn't uh, taken care of properly and it just it was it's metal and it just rusted that's what it did so the fact that this car has survived and been taken care of uh, interesting how the little white there goes around the Chevrolet emblem uh, is really, really unique. So that's really, really a neat piece to this car. And keep in mind when these cars came out of the factory back in 1970, 1967, uh, they were nowhere near today's car or today's standards of cars. Uh, paint wasn't applied as, as laser guided as it is today. Uh, you know, they, the cars were basically slapped together, put on a showroom floor for people to enjoy. Um, that's. Uh, Junk is almost how, how you want to how you want to qualify it. And, and, and yeah, let's let's add that. Thanks, Tim. Yep. And this is some of the original details for those people who want to stop and read all those on this car and learn about their own cars. Yeah, and also this car, a protective plate. It was Jerry McNeish certified um, or authenticated. And who um, is that? He is a he is the big Camaro guru. Okay. He is the uh, uh, Galen of, of Mopars. He's 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 the, the Camaro guy. So once he says it, that's that's. He gives a stamp it. of approval. Okay. And back in '67, the original price of the car was thirty-one hundred dollars. Wow. Thirty-one fifteen and seventy-five cents to own a <laughs> six hundred and two one of six hundred and two produced Camaros. That's great. Let's open the door. Yeah. Go ahead. We'll have 
I'll have Tim open the and door it's there. Still, still sporting all original interior in it. Yeah, we've got the GM so, yeah. logo there on the side. See nice little rips and whatnot. I'm just talking all about the rips on the seats, but you can see the little buckets. How it was back then. It does have the it does have the first shifter on it as well too. Okay, and it's got that, that little badge. I'll do that just to make it easier to read for people. People love those little badges. And we've got the four speed pedals and your wipers, your lights. Your speedometer, there's the miles that we're talking about. And just the simple gauges, no, not a lot of fluff here in 67. The must have, the must have lighter. The essentials. The essentials. That's what I mean, this car was meant to be beat on. It didn't have all the bells and whistles like you've seen in a lot of the other uh, models. It was uh, just meant to go fast. High revving 302. That's it. And the only thing inside the door there, the word Camaro. So not a lot of badging like you see on the cars today sometimes. All right, let's pop the hood. Let me shut that door. Yeah, here. Yeah, 67. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. You got your bare, basically bare essentials, no power steering. You do have a power brake, uh, power brake setup in it, um, which if you're running a quarter mile at a time, you're really going to need that power brake to yeah, stop yeah, you real quick. That's needed. So some slight, was that an upgrade? That's some slight modification just so we could stop the thing? Yeah, okay. yeah essentially, yeah. And then there's the, the original Chevrolet motor. Obviously, you've, you've repainted the orange just so that, you know, just a freshening up. Because, because there, was a, there was a big block engine in here. They threw that out. They put the, the original numbers matching engine back in. Right. And, and those are the original uh, the original heads as well. Oh, right. yeah. We yeah. actually Our, decoded right here, and this is the original engine to the car. Let's just feature that. So there's, there's how you decode. Interesting. And the original exhaust manifold, it looks like. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just all kind of simple. Here it is. And let's get up and boogie. There's under the hood. So let's shut that hood and you guys stand right next to the car. There we go. So while Dad marks away, we can see that the boys are still working hard. Guys, thanks yeah. for being on my car story. Thanks, no problem. Thank you.